Well, more than 9,000 people, wow, turned out to that new penguin exhibit at the Kansas City Zoo yesterday. And today, 7,000 more stood in line to get an up close and personal look at the latest additions to the 104 year old zoo. Our Mitch Weber went there and tells us how the zoo plans to keep that momentum going. Obviously, everyone is here to see the penguins this weekend at the zoo. But as we learn from the zoo director, the penguin effect, it'll have an impact on this zoo for years to come. To be honest with you, this is exceeding my expectations. Zoo director Randy Wisthoff knew the penguin exhibit looked good on paper, but never imagined this. Say, hey, we, we accomplished something. Now let's... Let, let's uh, rest on that about 10 seconds and move on to the next thing. Since taking over as zoo director 10 years ago, his job was more than just building exhibits. The first time we balanced the budget, 2004, that was extremely rewarding because it hadn't been done in a while. After the books, he started at the front gate during the zoo expansion in 2005. 85, 90 percent of the efforts into the front entrance area, front loaded the zoo. A shortcut to Africa made it easier to redid the front entrance, made it easier to get in the zoo. In the last few years, you couldn't help but notice. Well, it's become really a kind of a, a exhibit of more than just animals behind the cage. It's been a revelation to see all the things they've they've well, done. We got uh, to me a long way to go to be a world class zoo. Uh, I, I, we probably are there, or pretty close, but in my eyes, I, I, I don't, I never stop long enough to, to look at it that way. I absolutely love the zoo. I love every minute I'm out in it. So what's next here at the zoo? Randy tells me that the elephant exhibit is part of a long list of improvements that he wants to make. And of course, that list only grows longer when he walks around here every day. Reporting from the zoo, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.